but don't worry about that. So right now we're gonna kill the dummy and we're gonna see if we can if we can get extra coins. So right now we're gonna kill the dummy. Boom. And we got a random amount of coins. Boom, just like that. Welcome back guys to another Roblox Studio tutorial. So I got a suggestion a while ago when I was making my round system tutorials. And it's basically how to actually give coins or cash or currency to a player when they kill, for example, an NPC, right? Or a player. So let's say we kill a player and we want to give the player that killed the NPC or the other player uh, some cash, right? So what I have right now is actually... Let's see, it's a linked sword. So this is the classic sword that I use in my round system tutorials, as you can see. So this is the sword. Now the thing, the thing about this, the cool thing about this, it actually has an inbuilt script where it actually detects who killed who or who attacked who, basically. So in the actual, not the mouse icon, but the sword script, there's a uh, sword script. Uh, and it has a function called tag humanoid. What this does, it makes a tag basically called creator tag. It's an object value and it puts it inside the player's humanoid and or the NPC's humanoid when it gets attacked. So if I attack this, this dummy with a sword, it will make, a, it will make an object value inside its humanoid and it will show who is attacking the player, which should be me, right? Which should be me. So let's say, I'm going to actually test this right now just so I can show you. So again... Let me just rephrase this. Uh, okay, we'll put this back with our starter pack. So when I go back to the source script, so it makes a, whenever we hit a player, right? Or a, any, it doesn't have to be a player. It can be an NPC, right? Whenever we hit someone, it makes an object value in the player's humanoid, the players that's being attacked. And the object value, right? It's an object value. And the value that's going to be stored in it, it's actually the player that attacked it, right? So we can test this out right now. And I think it is a bit quick, so I will try to show you how it actually looks like. So let's see, workspace, and this is the dummy that we'll be using. You can use anything, obviously. And this is the humanoid. So when we attack, this, there should be something that appears. Okay, I was gonna see, it says creator, not gonna, obviously this appeared because it only appears for like a second, but I'll, I should be showing you and when this creator object value appears, it's going to have the value of my player because I'm the player that attacked this dummy. I was going to see creator and then it says recur. So that's the value that's storing, which is my player, right? So I just want to introduce you to this because this is the main function or the main idea, the main thing that you want to manipulate so it can actually give the player coins. So whenever this character dies, it's going to have this creator value when it's added during uh, when it gets hit by the sword. So obviously, this won't be in every tool. It won't be in every weapon. But if you have a melee weapon, it is pretty easy to implement. You kind of, I mean, you can also, honestly, you can like just copy and paste the script. Um, but yeah, you can really copy the paste of the script from this link sword. But I will be providing this in the description. Um, and yeah, otherwise, now, since we already have the script built in into this linked sword, we'll be using this and we'll be using the creator tag that's being, that's being implemented into this sword script. We're going to be using this so you can give the player coins. And that's already like, it's kind of like it's prepared for us. You know what I mean? So what we can do now is, um, let me see. Okay. We'll make a script inside the inside the NPC. We'll make a script inside the NPC. Uh, we can just make it in under the character. So make a script. And yeah, by the way, I did realize um the all the icons changed. They got updated. Um, uh, it's pretty hard to get used to, but it's like because it's completely different now. Like everything's changed, but it looks modern, so it looks nice. Um, okay. Anyways, this is gonna be a very simple script. So local character script parent. So this is the NPC. And if you want, you can obviously add this to players. So instead of the NPC, you just want to insert it into uh, starter player, starter character scripts. So you can apply this to when players die, right? And when a player kills other players. All right. 
local humanoid equals character. Let's see. do we wait for a child in case, just in case. Okay, so now we, just, we can do humanoid dot died event dot died connect function, which is pretty self-explanatory. It just means that when the humanoid is dead, when it dies, basically, this event is going to fire. So all we have to do is local creator or local um, the killer. Let's say killer. So it makes sense. Equals humanoid find for child creator because this is the object values name that is created from this source script. So if killer, so if there's a killer, if there's a creator value inside the humanoid of the character that's dying, then local uh, the player local local uh, I let's call a player like player equals killer that value. So this is the player that killed this uh, player or this NPC. And all we have to do really is let's say we add coins. Now, actually, I did forget to put some leader stats into the game. So let's actually do this real quick. I'm going to do I want to make it real brief. Um, again, if this is your first time seeing a leader stats script being scripted, then I highly suggest you watch like my old leader stack tutorial because I explained everything right now. I'm going to do it really fast, so I'm not going to really explain much. So game that player, the player added connect function. Uh, let's add a player in this parameter. Local leader stats equal instance that new folder. This will hold all of the player stats, leader stats that name equals leader stats has to be spelled like this. Leader stats that parent equal player because we want to put it inside the player. Okay, let's just make a coins value equals instance dot new number value coins that name equal coins coins that parent equals leader stats. We want to put this in a leader stats because that's the folder that holds all of our stats. Alrighty, that's it. So obviously it doesn't have a data store, but we're gonna keep it like this. And then let's say we want to make a random a random we want to give the player a random amount of cash. So let's say rand cash rand or random coins equal math that random. Uh let's say from five to twenty-five player dot leader stats dot coins dot value plus equals one or not sorry plus equals ran coins ran coin so we're gonna add a round amount of coins from 5 to 25 to the player's coins value which is basically the uh, player's coins all right that's easy let's see if this works so we got we got uh the sword we got the dummy and we have the thing scripted in the dummy so it gives us cash so right now we have zero coins. Let's see if we kill this dummy, would we get extra coins? So we kill the coins. Okay, so right now I think it didn't give us anything. Did it give us anything? Well, that's weird. It didn't give us anything. Okay, that's interesting. Um, let's see. We're gonna do a bit of troubleshooting here. Let's see. So. We do some print statements. I don't, I don't know why what happened. So uh, NPC died. NPC died. And then let's do like maybe. Maybe we can do like player dot name killed NPC. So I want to see what actually went wrong. All right, come on, work, work, work. So, I don't know what happened here. So this NPC died, but it didn't. Apparently, it didn't see who killed the players for some weird reason. Uh, that's really weird. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Creator, I think it's a creator with a lowercase c. 
Yep, so it was a creator with a lowercase c. My bad, my, my bad. But I will be letting you know uh, before this happens so you don't waste your time. So it's a small mistake. Everyone makes a mistake. It's not a huge one. So don't worry about that. So right now, we're going to kill the dummy and we're going to see if we, can, if we can get extra coins. So right now, we're going to kill the dummy. Boom. And we got a random amount of coins. Boom, just like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this simple, simple tutorial. If you want more, be sure to like and subscribe. Actually, if you want a part two of this tutorial, so instead of uh, it giving us random coins in our leader stats, well, we can do that. Or what we can do instead uh, for a part two is we can actually make the NPC or the player drop like cash, like physical cash, right? Like dollar bills when it dies. We can do that uh, for a part two. So let me guys, uh, let me guys, let me know guys what you want next. And if you want, you can join our Discord. Um, what we should do in our Discord? I don't know. We should do like a giveaway or something. I don't know. But yeah, we might do a giveaway if you want. So if you want, you can join our Discord. Uh, give us suggestions on what we should do on our Discord server. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one.